Hi, this is a video um, from Excel Automation. It's a video on a way the dashboard reporting can be used and extended using pivot tables and pivot charts. So in this particular workbook, we've got a sales monthly dashboard and also a year-to-date dashboard. As you can see, there's a couple of charts showing here um, for appointments, referrals, settled and ongoing revenue. You can also select at the top of this report um, by particular advisors or locations. And when you select those, all the various charts down below populate and reset as a result of those selections. And these are all working um, off pivot tables and pivot charts in the background. You can also select by particular months or a particular year if there's more than a year. Now, these, these, these charts can also be shown into tables of reports um, based on the same information. And again, you can select by years and by months to produce all these things and show them in various formats. Now, I'm just going to show you quickly how easily these types of reports are pulled together from entry into templated data. So to add data to this report, as you can see, I'll just click back to the current months, uh, the current reports that are showing. We've got the month of August, September and October showing here, month 8, 9 and 10 for activity and total appointments. Now previously we've, we've copied this information for the actual report population in for July, June and May for the previous months. Obviously we probably have ended this prior to, uh, to the other months but this is just for an example purposes. So the way this has been set up, you click on this button up here, add report data, it'll go through and validate all the entry, all the information you have down below here in the template and then populate it to the data source and then update the reports. So I'll just show you that behaviour. comes back and tells you valid records have been added to the data set and they're now disappeared from the template indicating that they've been successfully loaded to the reports. So we click back on the reports now we should see that there are now months showing for May, June, July, August, September and October right across the board. Now also that information has been pre-populated into here and we can now go and select by a particular month if we want to and then show the data. Now, in addition to having a sales data template, we can have any type of template you like. And in this particular example, we have a budget amount that needs to be compared against. So we've got actuals and budget, and then there's a comparison to percentage indicating whether it's a good thing or a positive or, or a bad thing. Green obviously is, is a good good marker, and red is not as not as great as it could be. So to actually populate the budget information, in this particular instance, it's an annual amount um, for each of the metrics that we're measuring, in this case referrals, appointments, revenue, um, and total appointments held. And those numbers are set here uh, for an annual basis to measure against monthly targets, which is, which is then translated into the dashboard reports here. Um, for the particular person we're looking at, in this case Adrian. So he's had uh, 12 referrals in the month of July and nine referrals as his budget. So he's actually exceeded the budget that was uh, an expected uh, set for the month, which is great. And then we go back to here and we actually, when we actually pulled up um, a particular person, we had to see that their activities across the months and the budget line is there shown in red. So all this information is set here and then on entry for new data it basically takes the budget amounts from the template and then populates it into the data set ready for reporting. And you can just enter these directly, more, more data can be entered directly into this template and we hit the button add report data or it can be copied and pasted from other sources of information. So let's say you had a, an export from an external system you could export that information, copy and paste that into the template and hit add report data. Okay, well that's a quick demonstration of what's possible um, using Excel and pivot, pivot reports. If you want any more information, please contact us at Excel Automation and uh, we'll be able to assist you in designing a reporting solution for your business. Thanks for listening.